Minister of Health Terence Leal Singh says there has been a decrease in COVID-19 vaccinations. Speaking at a media conference at the Diplomatic Center in St. Anne's on Saturday, he expressed that the trend was worrying. Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. Health Terence Dial Singh said up to Friday, 48.5% of the population were fully vaccinated and 98,490 accessed boosters. He said from December 20th to January 10th, there was an increase in vaccine uptake, but that decreased in the last few days. The minister explained that the health ministry was averaging 1,400 to 1,500 per day, a trend that he said held from December 20th to January 10th. He said first shots are now below 1,000 a day. We started to see a decline from Tuesday of this week, where we went down to 1,302, 1, Wednesday 1,159, and then unfortunately Thursday and Friday we dipped to below 1,000. Thursday we did 944, and yesterday Friday 911. So our first shots which includes the first shot of GNG, um, first shot of Sinopharm and Pfizer plus GNG is now below a thousand a day. The minister is concerned about this decrease in vaccinations. That is not good enough. We need to get that up. Also, we want to encourage people to come in to be boosted based on the schedule we have published. All the global evidence tells us that one of the ways to beat Omicron is to be boosted. The first and second, second shots may not be enough. You need that third booster. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roshan Parasram also underscored the importance of mask wearing for protection from COVID-19 and its variants. He said there was a possibility that the Omicron variant was more aerosolized, which could be one reason why it is more transmissible. He said a N95 and a surgical mask offer more layers of protection. Dr. Parasram added that the type of mask a person wears would depend on the setting in which a person was working. We have been saying to wear masks for quite a while. It is now legislation. It is hard to get people to wear even one mask to cover in nose, mouth and chin, right? So if we can have people wearing a mask properly at this point in time, we will take that for now. Um, but the guideline, of course, says surgical masks and N95 give you better protection. He said the public policy was to wear a mask at all times in public so a cloth mask could be sufficient, but more layers would be better. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News. There is a large reduction in the rate of deaths due to COVID-19 among the vaccinated. This from epidemiologist Dr. Avery Hines as he examined the death rates in the vaccinated and unvaccinated at Saturday's media conference. Dr. Hines says the death rate among the unvaccinated is... Higher. If you're unvaccinated, then the death rate in that group is 15.6 times higher than the death rate that we're seeing in the vaccinated group. And we want to make that point because the queries about whether vaccines are helping or working, our data is showing that it actually, it's actually making a difference.